Open is a special uh, kind of office we established um, with the aim to bring architecture to the common mass. How are we going to do it? So we um, work in two parallel uh, dimensions. One is to be actively engaged in the practice of construction of buildings, plannings. On the other hand, it's about um, research into the unknowns and, and the research on the, on the same point also support our uh, practice, the, the, you know, the design, the realize the projects. Um, for me, since the return back to China after working in New York City for over 10 years, um, it's, a, it's a great challenge to understand what is happening today in China with the context of you know, a deep history, but today we're facing enormous um, crisis of the urban crisis, environmental crisis, uh, even down to the food crisis. Is at this moment, um, through the past two decades of urbanization, um, spaces are increasingly privatized by developers, you know, by you know, the gated communities and, uh, or become shopping malls. So how do we still, in a way, to find a way to cut in and make space for the public? It's very important. And on the other hand, nature is uh, losing in cities. It's, it's becoming concrete everywhere. So creating public space and bring back nature to the city will be um, a very important task for architects. To bring the thing to the common mass, we have um, struggled to figure out how we're going to do it. It's a question we think of every day. On one hand, um, in all the kind of projects we select to be engaged with, in terms of real projects, we're trying to create um, public spaces, create the public spaces for the common mass, and also create the opportunities for the people to meet to interact. We're doing a, a living community for, let me see, 800 families. All work for the second largest uh, internet gaming company. So that's a great experiment we're taking. Reinvent a um, socialist living, but reinvent it in a new way, you know, how people, especially young families, can kind of live together collectively in the nature, by the ocean. So. That's the thing you can also see the website for the Night Dragon, um, uh, what they call the Night Dragon Commune. So we want a new kind of commune, yeah. Where, you know, uh, shared spaces at different levels and different scales, and, and largely preserve the nature and making forest by, you know, reinvent the kind of old typology, you know, like very large courtyard housing. And, and like socialist lab, you know, which was popular in the 60s, 50s, but reinvented in a different way or at a different scale. Sky City is an is a, uh, invited competition where participated in the city of Wuhan. Wuhan is the third largest city in China, huge population. Uh, but with very interesting recent history of uh, uh, great urban spaces. When we were asked to create a landmark, a skyscraper, you know, like super skyscraper, we tried to do something different. I, I imagine a different kind of high-rise office and high-rise building. With the first half, it's a, it's a hybrid program with a residential, different kind of offices. But although it's an office very high up, still over 100 meters, but it's a device up into a horizontal section. So imagine you can walk three stories up or three flats down to a park at your lunch break, or you can take your laptop to the park to work. This will be a totally fantastic kind of working experience. Uh, works for a very high density city, but a totally different kind of experience.
our office in, is, uh, for some reason, is engaged in lots of educational buildings, from kindergarten to you know summer camps for the kids, uh, to middle schools, campuses, very large. Like in China, everything is large. You know, five thousand people, middle schools, and for college, for research building for the the top universities. Um, I think it's important we design for um, the ed educational buildings to, to create inspiring spaces. And, and I always believe architecture can become a kind of uh, armature that can restructure. I always believe architecture can influence your feelings, your emotions, and your creativity and by creating inspiring spaces and the spaces for people to engage with each other, to have interaction with nature. So, um, so that for some reason, we're very busy with all the educational buildings. And I, I, I think this building can last for centuries. So I think it's a pride for us to take on these kind of projects.